What is up guys, Taiki here. Today I'd like to discuss Iron Finance and the collapse of its native farm token, Titan. If you like the content, please like and subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section below. So let's get started. All right, so obviously this is happening. Uh, it's down 90% in the past 24 hours. And if you, if you were tuning into my live stream on Sunday, you probably already know why this is happening. But in case you weren't there or you want me to rehash uh, you know, what I think is happening, then this video is for you. So let's go over the postmortem of Iron Finance and like why Titan, the farm token, is collapsing. So um, I initially did this live stream on Sunday because you know at the time uh, the early birds were laughing at me, right? It's like, haha, like you're poor, half one staying poor. Uh, but you know the goal isn't to just hit a home run in, in a single form. It's to learn from what made it successful. Because the goal isn't to just you know be successful in one form. It's to be uh, consistently successful in many other forms to generate cash flow from your assets, right? So like, I just wanted to like go over, uh, do, do, do a little case study on why it was successful. And I said that, you know, to be objective, I'm not gonna enter this form. Uh, so I guess my incentives are aligned with the viewers. So Iron Finance, as in a general overview, is a form centered around Iron, a fractionalized stable coin, 75% backed by USDC and 25% backed by the farm token, which is Titan. Okay. And they launched May 18th of 2021. And this is usually like the launch date isn't important, but in this case, it was really, really important because 18th was like roughly when Bitcoin was trading at $46,000. And it was essentially right, right before the Giga Nuke uh, below $30,000. And that was like when the entire market went risk off. And in that type of environment, people want to hold dollars. And if you're in DeFi, you want to earn, you want to generate a yield with those dollars, right? So uh, I don't want to say they were lucky, right? But, you know, it, the timing definitely helped. Uh, obviously, the, the team worked really hard on this, and I'm not like bashing on a team or anything, uh, or saying anything negative. But you know, part of the success was it was perfect timing. They launched right before the nuke, when the dollar-based yields were at an all-time high in like even like the past 12, 16 months. And if you think about the tokenomics of farms, right? Because you always have to consider like the tokenomics of these farms, right? Uh, otherwise, like you're not really like understanding like what the hell's happening. So for iron, 25% is backed by the farm token, right? So, uh, you know, if there's natural demand for iron, right? If people keep redeeming, or sorry, if people keep, keep minting iron, right? Keep minting new iron every single day, then there's gonna be a natural demand for the volatile assets, uh, which is the Titan token. Um, and when, yeah, when, when, when people mint iron, Titan is, uh, Titan is burnt, right? So there's burn pressure, uh, on the farm token, but if someone redeems the native, if someone redeems iron, uh, the protocol will pay back the USDC and mints the required amount of time. So conceptually, you can start to see, okay, for this farm to work, there has like iron has to be minted every single day. The iron printer has to be going burr, or this farm will collapse. So if people start redeeming iron, or like the growth of the iron stablecoin, or I guess the fractionalized stablecoin isn't going parabolic then you can start to think, okay, maybe Titan is gonna go down in value, right? Or just at least stagnate. And this is important because with these farms, the APRs and APYs are paid in the farm token, which is Titan, right? So obviously on the way up, it's gonna feel amazing. Every day you're gonna be printing money and it seems like, you know, you're just, you've worked, right? And it kind of starts this reflexive loop where everyone is super happy on the way up, but everyone gets depressed on the way down. So on the way up, uh, like I said, in a bearish environment, there's demand for stablecoin yields, so people mint iron. There's naturally burn pressure on the Titan token, and as people make money, it's gonna it's gonna get shown on social media. They're gonna say they're gonna be saying things like, "Haha, like you're holding Bitcoin, what a boomer! I'm farming Iron Finance." And then those people will look at the markets. They're like, "Okay, Bitcoin's still trading at thirty-five thousand. Screw it, I'm gonna mint iron and go for these yields." And obviously, this this reflexive loop was going on for like the past few weeks and obviously on the other side when people start redeeming iron uh, the opposite happens where just people get sad and like just, just sell off the titan token altogether so uh in terms of like why this happened i, I, I guess like to go back on the risks i found right i, I found this on sunday right uh so uh, there were there were a few risks and i'm just gonna hash them over because um i i, I do think it's important to understand uh even like after after like this collapse happened, like what did like what what did I see were the risks uh, beforehand? So one risk was that 
you know, what if the V, what if the market just V-shaped recovery from here, right? Because there's only high demand for stablecoin yields in a bearish environment. So if the market just, if like Michael Saylor buys like a, more Bitcoin and some like 10 other countries buy Bitcoin all in the same week, then obviously Bitcoin is going to be bid up and people will want to sell their stable coins to buy Bitcoin or Ether, etc. Right. So uh, this was like a lower chance of happening in, in my opinion, but you know, it, it's a risk nonetheless. And the second risk was that uh, I, I mentioned that I don't think there was like a huge sell off by whales yet. Um, and if Titan gets dumped on and iron loses its peg, what happens? And this is kind of what's happening right now. Um, you know, you, some people are blaming Mark Cuban, some people are blaming the, devel the developers, but it, it doesn't really matter, right? This was a risk that people had to consider. Um, and also, like, people should understand that all farms are zero sum, right? Crypto and, I guess, these farms, they're not the Federal Reserve. They can't just print money and give it to you. So if you're making money, then someone else is losing money. So, and if someone you see online is making a lot of money, then that means, you know, that yield is coming from somewhere else. And I guess in the bull case of iron keep being minted, um, I guess people were like super excited because this is happening, right? I mean, on June 14th, uh, Iron Finance, they were, they were like celebrating that uh, they had $2 billion in TVL. And, but I also mentioned it in the live stream, but there's a limit to how much iron, new iron can be minted, right? Because the amount that it can grow is kind of limited by the amount of, I guess, liquidity in the ecosystem. So I took this screenshot today uh, where the, I guess the TVL was roughly 12, 11 to 12 billion dollars, right? So essentially one sixth of the liquidity in Polygon was already in iron finance. Like, was it really reasonable to expect it to go to 6 billion when there's only 12 billion dollars in Polygon? I don't think so. Uh, and I mentioned it a lot in the live stream, but, you know, hopefully this gave some alarm bells for some people and they were able to at least get out or just DCA sell uh, their Titan tokens. And, uh, you know, this chart isn't the best, right? Because, you know, it's, it's, it wasn't like, it's not the most user friendly, but if you go on Iron Finance, I took the screenshot today as well. But uh, last night before I went to sleep, I saw that you know, this the TVL was, it wasn't going parabolic anymore. It was kind of flatlining, right? And obviously right now it's down because the Titan token is down. But as soon as you start to see the TVL not growing, then, you know, that's also a warning flag, right? Because like I said, these farms only work if people keep minting iron. If the minting stops, then the party stops. And yeah, like wh whether this dump was caused by whales dumping Titan or just people started redeeming iron or just stopped minting altogether, uh, I, I don't know. But, you know, and... The goal of the the goal of the video isn't to say like this ha X happened so Y happened right. It's to say these were the risks moving in and you know these risks were it happened right. Uh, some I'm, I'm sure like some whales just took out their liquidity and just dumped tight in the market and the buy pressure and like the minting pressure uh, just wasn't enough to sustain the price. And maybe this was the team right. Uh, Thirty percent of uh, Titan tokens went to the team. Um, it says they're like vested over a 36 month period. I, I don't really know. I mean, there people were saying, oh, like they weren't minting it. Some people were saying, oh, like, oh, they dumped it. Like, I, I don't know. But, you know, if you just went to documentation, you saw that 30% of the tokens went to the team. Okay. And they're going to want to cash in at some point. Maybe it was them. <laughs> Maybe it was Mark Cuban. I don't know. Uh, but it's the goal isn't to just blame people, right? It's like, you, you can't really blame people for your, for your mistakes. You should say, okay, like, I guess in hindsight, it was obvious, but, you know, I got too greedy and I need to learn from this. And that's the goal of the video. Like, it's, it's to, like learn from your past mistakes. And also, like, if you ask yourself, like, where's the yield coming from? Maybe you are the yield, right? Because I guess being an LP for iron USDC, like, it's not that risky, right? Because Iron is 75% backed by USDC. There's not going to be a permanent loss. Worst case scenario, like the farm token goes down in value and you just lose out on the opportunity cost of your capital. But if you were LPing on like Titan and Matic, right? Or like in those, like the two volatile pairs, then if, if Titan tanks, then like you just lose a lot more money because the pool will sell your Matic to accumulate more Titan. And as Titan keeps going down in value, then, you know, you're just... <laughs> The pool will keep DCAing into Titan, which is a no-no, obviously, because it's 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 down ninety percent today. So, in summary, 
um, I always say this, uh, I've been saying this for a few months now, but like never marry a form. And when the music stops, it can collapse in a matter of hours, right? Uh, and obviously in the past week, everyone was euphoric. They're like, oh my God, I'm going to buy every single dip, uh, tie into the moon, tie into $100, Mark Cuban's in this, uh, think about all the other billionaires, but you know, just always manage your risk. And like I said, never marry a farm. Farm tokens are designed to go down in the long run, right? I, I can't predict what happens in the short term, but in the long term, I can say that they're going to trend to zero, uh, which applies to like 98% of farms. There are some farms that are sustainable, but you know, most farms are not. So, you know, why take on that risk? Just DC out of farms, unless you have a fundamental reason to hold it. Like, like the two farms, they're not essentially, they're not like really farms, but like sushi swap and pancake, I do think there's fundamental reasons to hold those tokens, not financial advice. I don't own either tokens, but I can see a reason to hold those tokens, right? And it, you can farm those tokens every single day. But outside of the, like, those projects with actual fundamentals, like don't marry that form token. Like ask, like ask yourself, like what's the funda like what are the fundamentals backing Titan, right? There's not really a fundamental reason other than like money printer go burr, like iron printer go burr. Because if you were to enter a two year coma, would you want to hold Titan? Like, if you answer yes, then you're not going to make it. <laughs> so that's a summary. Uh, let's check on the price. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, that's really sad. Um, but yeah, like this, this wasn't too clear to me, like how they were invested. Uh, so maybe it was them, maybe it was more whales, but uh, I was, I've been having fun ship posting recently on Twitter. And last night I was like, I, I took this screenshot from my Discord. It's like, hey guys, just wrote my dad's bank account to farm some time. Let's go, baby. And I was like, oh, people are saying, please don't be the top signal. Please don't be the top signal. And uh, it was the top signal. It was the top signal. And yeah, this is this is my ship post from today. Uh, if you're following me on Twitter, like I'm just having fun, right? So don't take these uh, tweets too seriously. Uh, on, on my YouTube videos, I kind of dive in on like, like more analysis, but on Twitter, I'm just having fun. But you know, what happens when a Ponzi collapses? Some people learn from their mistakes and become a better farmer. Others create NFTs of their feet to recoup their losses with digital art. Which one are you? And I think this is a good philosophical question that you should be asking yourself. You know, are you gonna start taking pictures of your feet to sell online, right, for like half an ETH? Or are you gonna learn from your mistakes and be like, okay, I got too greedy, I married this farm, but you know what, next time I'm gonna be careful, I'm gonna DCA out. Because obviously, like, if you were DCAing Titan, like, on June 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, then, you know, you kind of felt bad, right, when Titan was $60. Because you sold at, let's say, $20 when it went to, like, $40 a day after. But obviously, when Titan is trading below $5, you're glad you got out. So, yeah, don't marry a farm. Uh, it's, most farms are designed to go to zero. Um, some have longer lifespans. Like, there's no one size fits all solution. Uh, Titan, uh, Iron Finance, like they launched at a great time uh, in terms of like the tokenomics, uh, tokenomics, like, like a stable coin form centered around like a Ponzinomic tokenomic model. I mean, made people a lot of money, but on the way down, oof, it hurts. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day and have fun farming and be safe out there.